click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, there are a lot of reasons why success and effectiveness is differentiated in various terms and terminologies. There are a lot of literatures, there are a lot of books written on exactly what do we mean by success and what is effectiveness. At the same point of time, when we divide these two issues into one, we also understand there are certain differences where we talk about certain managers who follow the differences as successful managers and effective managers. There are managers who are really successful and there are managers who are effective. Friends, this video will help you to understand what exactly do we mean by successful managers and effective managers. There are multitudes of books available on success and success-based stories. There have been literatures which discusses of how to measure and predict success. At the same time, the motivation behind getting into a successful life and successful career, even the pitfalls of success. Success, however, does not necessarily equate to effectiveness. This is where a discussion on comparison between successful managers to effective managers may be useful. Let's see how success and effectiveness are not interchangeable. So for managers, the definition of success in the management science and literature is ability to be promoted. So anytime you ask a manager, how are you successful? How can you prove that you are successful? He says, I've been promoted for so many places and so many positions, so many times in life. I've been given hikes in my salary. I have reached to a level right now where I am at the top of the management level. And I am an HOD or a department head or a CEO or whatever it is. So the measurement of success is by getting promoted and reaching at that particular point fast in time. That's when we compare ourselves to be successful or not. With that thought in mind, a successful manager is the one who rises with the organization through the organization's success quickly. So he is the one who not only is successful in whatever he does, but also reaches to his goals very quickly. So to give you an example, if I am say right now, thinking that 20 years down the line, I would be a very, very successful trainer where my success would calculate on my finances and will be associated also with my fame, where most of the people would know me in the industry, knowing as that I'm the best trainer. And suppose after 20 years, which would be like a quick 20 years accomplishment, if I'm already there at that level where I'm amazingly financially happy, where positively I'm earning very well, at the same time, I'm also known to almost all the masses of people who are into trainings and people know me by name. There are a lot of places where I am just referred and the work is done. At that particular point of time, I would say that I'm a very, very successful person where I've reached to my goal within my time limit very quickly. On the other hand, the effective manager is the one who is able to manage his work to the best positivity and potential, giving his best to his entire team in the way it works. At the same time, putting in a lot of efforts to attend to the overall strategic goal of the organization. It won't be wrong for me to call a successful manager someone who is person who defines his own success and a effective manager to define his success as strategic success according to the organization. So there are two sides of the same coin. One person who thinks of his own success reaching along with the organization, whether the organization success is or no, he has to be successful and that's what you really mean by successful manager. At the same time, another level of manager who has to take certain decisions, give his best for the organization to take the organization to the next level is called the effective manager. There is definitely a significant difference in both of them in some or the other way while conflicting to reach to the goals differently. While I talk, it would make more sense that every effective manager is successful, but it's not always the thing. It's not always right to say that every effective manager is successful because in any case, success does not presume to effectiveness at all.
When I put up an argument saying success may not require effectiveness, let's see and discuss on certain points of why do we say that and why is it proven that success actually doesn't have anything to do with effectiveness. I won't say anything, but it's not necessary to be effective to be successful. It is possible that managers who have satisfied criteria of success by moving in an organization may not be very effective. By saying this, there is very little in common between successful and effective managers. It's also proven that if we are an astute politician, as many successful managers are, it's not necessary that they need to be effective. At the same time, successful managers are not involved in the day-to-day working or day-to-day -day activities the way effective managers are involved. Perhaps the idea that success may not require effectiveness is a contributing factor to the performance problem facing in the modern organizations today. Today all of the managers who are successful have a lot of strategies where they reach to their goals so quickly and they're not really effective. In that case, let us discuss about certain challenges that managers face while they're aiming to be effective. If success is defined in terms of being promoted, it is very easy to quantify. As I told you that how do you measure your success is, suppose if say today you are at 50,000 per month, after six months, you would be around one lakh a month. Next six months, you would be around one and a half lakh a month next six months you would be around two lakh a month so it's easy to measure the success because we can actually quantify it effectiveness on the other hand is defined in terms of being able to produce a result through a combination of direct and delegated output effectiveness cannot be quantified or measured because that's only the efforts you put and the output that you get of all the efforts that you've actually put in not necessary that your success would depend on your effectiveness there is some research around performance but it tends to be linked to specific activities as opposed to the actual process of obtaining results in an organization from the perspectives of managers measuring effectiveness can come from a recording to the amount of the time it takes to perform a task to further job where they are hired to do so so effectiveness is basically long-term process where the managers keeps giving his effectiveness to reach up to the task at a level where he is amazingly satisfied with the task being done the way it is supposed to nevertheless out of all the researches the effectiveness of the managers actually we've it has been researched that and it confirms that the majority of the managers are operating by only 60% effectiveness. So even the best of best managers actually give 60% of their effectiveness to the job profile and definitely focus on more success in their life. Let's see what drives or constrains managerial effectiveness. To truly understand the relationships between effectiveness and success, managers first need to understand how to be effective. It's not necessary that success is only possible if you're not effective. In fact, let's take it vice versa. Let's say that we are really effective to get the best and quickest success in our life. So to understand this, first and foremost, the managers need to understand how are they supposed to be effective and how would they affect the organization and the management. What are the certain drivers that either constrain them or promote them effectiveness? Managers often feel accountable of various things in a workplace or an organization, yet when we measure the clarity of accountability, only 65% managers feel that they are really clear of what instructions they have received and what is to be done and where they are being held responsible and accountable to do so. Only 65% managers have that clarity. So the work starts then, as we told you that first of all, we need to be very clear on what really we have to do. So if you're not clear on what are you accountable for, that's one thing where the effectiveness lacks from the day one. This lack of clarity causes a serious disconnection where people do not do very well at the same time but are unable to not only focus on things, but definitely end up doing wrong things because they do not know where the focus is. As a result, an ineffectiveness which is often overlooked simply because managers are not aware that this disconnect exists. 
So friends, first of all, there is a lack of awareness of what exactly are the responsibilities that the manager is holding. There's a lack of awareness of why are they being accountable for certain things and what are the things that they are being accountable for. At the same time, they're not only focusing on wrong things, but also doing certain wrong things because the entire focus is shifted to a wrong stuff. And moving ahead following the same league, it's a lot of disconnections between them and there is a big gap between them as a leader and the entire staff that they have to deal with. Friends, these were certain arguments that I would want, I was wanting to put up in front of you for understanding what exactly do we mean by successful managers and effective managers. Now, since we know about it, let's try and do our level best to give our best effectiveness towards our success. I'm 100% sure we will all be successful managers, but let's do it more effectively and more gracefully. Thank you so much, friends, for watching this video. Please stay tuned to Ikira and keep subscribing to our channel. Thank you.